Ladies and gentlemen, classical family, it's your boy Giddy back with another reaction. Hope y'all are doing good. I'm doing great. Today we are reacting to Alexander Skriabin, 12 Etudes, Opus 8. Yeah, looking forward to it. Before we start though, please don't forget to follow me on Twitch. We do live reactions over there. Also join our Discord channel. And also we have a new channel where I post most of my reactions from the Twitch stream over there. So it can be different videos. We just reacted to a video from Tusa Violin and Chloe Chua. So it was a very fun video. So please go and check that channel out. Please subscribe. I'm also trying to grow the channel. But yeah, apart from that, let go. Let go. I'm gonna enjoy this. That was the first one. That was a quick one. Um, I'm only pausing it once. We'll listen through everything and then we'll talk at the end. But what I always do with etudes, I try and pick my favorite ones at the end. So I'm gonna just pay attention and focus, and I'm gonna see which one I really like or which ones I really like. But I mean, the first one was already. It caught my attention. It caught my attention. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's go. This one was lovely too. I enjoyed this one. Mm -hmm. 
bit more than the first one. That's all my mom for if I'm listening. Just so I don't forget which ones I like. That was a good one. That was a good one. That stood out. The third one stood out more than the first and second. This one's also good. What? <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. this one. Okay, I'll see it. <laughs> I said, sounds like a love song, soft melodies, and tune reminds me of flowers. <laughs> That's not fair. Like my favorite one up until now is a two number four. Why is it the shortest? That's not fair, Scriabin. Like you could have made this one a bit longer. The one that uh, that sounded really lovely. It sounded really lovely. What was the shortest? That's not fair.
it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. Okay, now I don't know. That was, a, that was a fun end. Guess my mom is calling me.
down to more mellow and a bit emotional, but I like it. This was eight. I gotta write it down. I liked eight too. Because from four up until five, it sounded more romantic. But like, I don't know if seven was also like that, but now eight is more like mellow and sounds more emotional. At least that's what that's what I think. I mean, that's what I kind of got from it. Y'all can let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about uh, Etude number eight, but I liked it. I liked it. Okay. the switch of what? Okay, nine.
Ah, and I ain't got me moaning. <laughs> Apologize, but yeah, yeah. I think I think nine takes it. Takes it. Nine takes it for me. We'll talk at the end, but I think I think nine takes it for me up until now. At least from from one up until nine. We, I think we can all agree that nine stands out the most. We get two left. Yeah.
I wasn't expecting eleven to do to do that. Be like something. I'm gonna tell y'all after. This is this. This. Oh, what a video. What a piece. Wow. I truly, truly enjoyed this. Um, this Skriabin. It's over to it. Oh, um, the, the reason why I was smiling at the end, um, whilst listening to number 12 was yesterday I had, um, we, we streamed on Twitch and somebody requested a video by heart of keys and in her video she does a challenge where um she tries to learn etude number 12 uh yeah this piece but number 12 in one minute 10 minutes and an hour so once it started playing i was like wait a minute i feel like i've heard this before but i wasn't too sure because normally i need some time to actually process um remembering a song or a piece so i was like ain't no way but yeah it was it was that one so and um, shout out to heart of keys but overall thank you for thank you for requesting this this was amazing um the the etudes that stood out to me the ones that i really enjoyed i think we got to start with 12 because it's it's an amazing an amazing etude like it's just something that you don't you don't get out of your head. Number eleven kind of caught me off guard because it made me a bit emotional. I wasn't expecting it to sound that. Let me say sad because I don't know any other word that I can use to explain. And um, like it, it is something that I would listen to. On a cold winter morning that's what i wrote down here because uh, you know when i'm trying to remember something i try i try to like um, ask myself okay what can i describe it to you so number 11 i was like it's something that i would listen to on a on a cold winter morning but yeah it i liked it i liked it number nine was amazing it started off fast and dramatic then it switched to romantic kind of like no not too slow but it sounded like really lovely and romantic and then it had a dramatic ending it it might have actually also yeah it was my favorite one until i heard 11 
yeah I would, yeah nine nine is my favorite attitude nine is my favorite attitude eight was also yeah a mellow a mellow attitude also emotional in my opinion um i feel like when number four started that's when the two like the whole kind of piece started switching up because um number four sounded like a love song i wrote down you know soft melodies and the tune reminds me of flowers <laughs> that's what i wrote down and number five also sounded romantic so yeah i would say number four eight nine eleven and twelve stood out to me the most and yeah i, I mean overall i enjoyed them all though it's it's always nice kind of like listening to a piece and also taking down notes and for somebody like me that has no knowledge about you know how to describe a piece as a professional this is the this is the most that i can do like so um yeah i still hope that yeah we're able to enjoy the reaction and also the piece and yeah if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also as i always say nowadays follow me on twitch join the discord and yeah ladies and gentlemen classical fam it's been your boy giddy i'm gonna catch you on the next video Bye.